contact tower now on 126.0. 126.0 for one thing, like right, thanks. Hi, I'm Steve Pope, senior editor with Flying Magazine. I'm here at the uh, Aspen Avionics booth. We're looking at Connected Panel, which is uh, an interesting new product. You've probably heard a little bit about it, but I'm here with Robert Blaha today, who's going to take us through and show us exactly what this technology can do for you in the cockpit. Now, a lot of pilots are flying with uh, iPads, and this iPad here has uh, Four Flight Mobile loaded on it, and that's what I fly with. Uh, the great thing about Four Flight is you can plan your entire flight on here, do it very easily. If you want to change something, you can just tap on, a, on the route and bring it over, anything you need to do. But then you have to go over here to your GNS 430 or other avionics and actually type it in, and that can involve a lot of button pushing and dial twisting. What Aspen Avionics has done is they've created a, a box called the CG100. It's a communications link that can wirelessly beam your flight plan that you've created on the iPad right into the avionics. You approve it, off you go. You don't have to touch anything other than that. So Robert, can you just take me through here? We've got a flight plan set up here. It looks like we're going from, uh, from Oshkosh to, to somewhere. Can you just show us uh, how this technology works? And, and sure. Yeah, we have a very simple flight plan in the iPad right now. It's uh, Oshkosh to Cedar Rapids, and this is a direct route. Um, very simple to enter here, and also very simple to enter here. Uh, however, if we uh, had different routing, uh, whether by pilot's choice or ATC direction, and uh, we wanted to uh, to uh, do a more complex route, we could certainly do that. And here's an example of uh, a route that involves quite a number of waypoints. Uh, we're going to do Oshkosh via Victor 331 to Cedar Rapids VOR, and then from there to Cedar Rapids. So this has quite a number of waypoints, and uh, this would involve a lot of knob twirling and button pressing over here in the GNS 430 or 530 or other navigator that you might have. So rather than do that, we can go ahead and touch the send to button, send this flight plan over to the, uh, to the uh, panel mount avionics via uh, wireless Wi-Fi link. Uh, the Wi-Fi uh, hotspot will transmit the flight plan over here to the EFD 1000 MFD. All the waypoints that are in the flight plan appear here on the MFD. This is where the pilot reviews and approves the uh, waypoints of the flight plan and then has the option to either send it to the number one nav, uh, the number two nav, or we can send it, uh, we can disregard it or edit it. Uh, in this case, we're going to send it to both uh, the number one and number two GPSs. So now we're transmitting this flight plan over here, and instead of the very simple flight plan that we had previously, Oshkosh to uh, Cedar Rapids via direct, now we have all the waypoints in the flight plan here. Oshkosh, Madison, Bach intersection, Dubuque VOR, Anosa intersection, Cedar Rapids VOR, and down to Cedar Rapids. It would have taken us quite some time to key yeah. this all in, and we can also do that here with the GNS 430. We have the same flight plan also in the GNS 430. And this is completely wireless, it sends it uh, into the avionics, you don't have to hardwire anything? That is correct. The uh, connection between the uh, iPad and uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot is wireless. The Wi-Fi hotspot is uh, connected to the EFT-1000 and the EFT-1000 acts as the connection or nexus to all the other panel mount avionics. Now a lot of pilots fly with ForeFlight and they're obviously a partner of yours, but are there other apps that you can use this technology with? Certainly, certainly. Uh, the, uh, the, the apps that uh, will be developed for this uh, include quite a number of uh, very interesting things. Uh, engine monitoring, uh, we can take weather from panel mount avionics and send it back to the iPad. We could download uh, engine parameters and exceedances from uh, engine monitoring equipment and send that back to the iPad for maintenance purposes. Uh, there are quite a number of applications under development at this time. And you can link with a variety of hardware as well. It works with the Garmin 430s, it works with Bendix King. KSN 770, it works with your boxes, obviously. That's correct. The navigators that uh, are currently working are the GNS 430W, the GNS 530W, uh, the non-W versions, the KSN 770, and uh, we're also working on the, uh, the IFDs uh, with Avidyne. So those will be compatible with Connected Panel as well when they're released. And you were able to get the FAA to say it's okay to send data from an iPad into certified panel mount avionics. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was an interesting, uh, interesting road to run down. The thing that makes this, I guess, a little bit more comfortable for everyone is the data is not going directly from the iPad into the navigator. We're sending the data 
to the MFD where it's reviewed and approved by the pilot before it goes to the navigator. Yeah, and eventually with this technology you'll be able to do other things with your iPad like tuning radios and... Yeah, we can actually do that now. So what hardware is required? You've got the, the CG100, that's the main, that's a, like a wi wireless link, that's the main piece of hardware, yeah? The CG100 is a Wi-Fi uh, transmitter, receiver, very much like what you'd have in the house except this one's designed to be installed in aircraft and it allows uh, wireless devices to be connected uh, in the aircraft to the panel mount avionics. And the most important question, what does it cost? What's the price? $29.95. $29.95 and it's TSO certified? TSO'd currently and we're uh, awaiting right now the, uh, the final ink on the uh, STC, the AML STC. Great, so people can order this now and... and That's correct, and we are the taking STC. orders. Excellent. Great. Well, thank you very much. I want this technology. This is awesome. This will save so much time for pilots. I think people are going to love it. I'm Steve Pope with Flying Magazine, and uh, this has been a great demonstration of connected panel and connected pilot uh, here at the uh, Aspen booth. Thanks very much.